Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. Hoping for a little bit of sunshine this weekend. Well, uh, sunshine is on the way. We're going to do a little event here called On the One Hand, On the Other Hand. <laughs> on the one hand, it turned out to be rather windy this afternoon as we expected. Peak wind gusts from those westerly winds well into the 30s for much of the area. Even a 44 mile per hour wind gust in, in Wisconsin Rapids. 33 was the peak gust in Wausau, 39 so far today in Rhinelander. So it was gusty. On the other hand, the gusty winds brought in drier air, which helped to dry things out. But on the other hand, the gusty winds also kept cool air across the area. Temperature readings right now only in the 50s for the most part. Readings won't fall much this evening. That's good news if you're going to be heading out for any high school activities, but it will still be breezy. Not expecting too much more in the way of showers. A few isolated showers still possible. The low pressure system that's been responsible for our unsettled weather the past few days is now well to the east northeast of Wisconsin over Ontario moving into Quebec. But we're on the back side of the system with the cloud cover, the gusty west winds today, and still a few scattered light showers in the area. Those should diminish as we course through the evening hours. Well, on the other hand, the good news, we'll do that one more time. We've had a lot of rain. We'll talk about that in just a moment so far this month, but we don't have too much in the way of significant river flooding because of all of it. One river flood warning remains in effect for the Yellow River in western Wood County, and also there's a river flood warning for the Black River affecting portions of Jackson County. Minor flooding is occurring and expected with both of those, so let's be thankful we don't have any additional significant flooding in the area. Speaking of rain totals this month so far, again, this is just uh, September from north to south in Wisconsin, almost four inches in Rhinelander, six and a third inches in Wausau, over six in Marshfield. Tim and Plover, our weather watcher, over six inches as well, over three and a half in Wisconsin Rapids. How about 7.15 in Green Bay? And Madison's rain total, bolstered by those heavy thunderstorms last night, at three and a half inches. Our forecast tonight, things will quiet down, becoming partly cloudy overnight after midnight. Some additional cloud cover will linger north though. Winds will settle down too to west at five to 10 miles per hour and low temperature readings will be cooler at 45 to 50 degrees. Our future track shows there's some clearing coming in tonight. The winds will settle down too. We'll start Saturday quiet with some sunshine. That's a nice way to begin the weekend. Clouds increase later in the day. Another wave of low pressure comes through during the evening and at night with a chance of showers and storms. Not a lot of rain expected with this, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch. The good news is though it will move out. Sunday will be partly sunny. A little bit warmer and a bit more humid too. Not much of a risk for severe storms tomorrow night in our area. Thunderstorms will be possible. A low end risk tomorrow afternoon in the evening to the west of our area. Saturday at 9 a.m. temperatures in the range of 52 to 59. We'll have some sunshine. Nice start to the day. West wind at 5 to 10. Increase in clouds through the afternoon tomorrow. Highs in the mid to upper 60s north of Wausau. A little bit better to the south. Upper 60s to low 70s and not much wind southwest at 6 to 13. Your seven day forecast then goes like this. Chance of showers tomorrow night, warmer and more humid Sunday, Monday not too bad, 77. Then humid for a while with some additional showers and storms, but not until Wednesday and into Thursday.